Welcome, welcome. We're going to cover an added feature in Looker Studio for scorecards. You might be used to seeing scorecards as just a number with a label and maybe a comparison percent. Now you have the ability to add spark lines for the scorecard metric that shows you the trend over time. If you wanted to add a spark line to your scorecard, previously you had to create a separate chart and strip it of elements like the axes, grid lines, and anything else, and shrink it. So if you click on the scorecard here, it's for views, but if you click on the spark line below, you can see that it's its own separate element. And if you take a look at the properties on the right, you can see clearly that it's a chart. If you look at the style and the various elements in the style section, there's no axis title for the Y nor for the X axis. All the grid lines are made clear or white. There's no legend and all the borders are also marked as white or clear. Now with Looker Studio, you can add a scorecard spark line. So if you go into the edit mode, we're going to look at this new user scorecard here. And in the setup, there's a section for spark line. Click on add a dimension. And the only dimensions that you can add are those that are related to date. And we're just going to select the date dimension. Now you can only select a date dimension for a spark line if you're not using a progress bar for the scorecard. You can go to style, change the color of the spark line if you wish, check the box to fill it or make it smooth. But we're just going to keep it as is so that we can see any trends in the, in the spark line. You can also configure the setting for missing data. And this is how it looks in the view mode. The only thing it's missing compared to creating your own spark line with a chart is the ability to hover over the spark line to see various points of the data. But with the chart, even if you hover over the points, this window, for me at least, blocks the entire spark line. So that's how you add a spark line to your scorecard. For more content on digital analytics and visualization, please subscribe, like, comment, share, and we'll see you in the next episode.